Good morning, Blackbirds, and welcome back to your Keen High Morning Show. I'm Katie Bauer. And I'm John Kelly. Today is Monday, May 13th, and it's a day one. Attention seniors, make sure to let your school counselor or Mrs. Swift in Maine guidance know your post-graduation plans so that your final transcripts can make it to your college or university on time. This is very important. The yearbook staff would like to remind everyone that yearbooks are still on sale in room 505 for $70. Get one now before prices go up to $75 on June 1st. Supply is getting low and you don't want to miss out on what will be the best book yet. Here are upcoming dates where students could earn volunteer hours by helping Project Grad. On Wednesday, May 22nd at 5 p.m., Project Grad needs help moving items from the shed to the wrestling room. Meet at the Green Shed by the restaurant. On Tuesday, June 4th at 6 o'clock, meet at the wrestling room by the teacher's lounge. On Friday, June 7th at 5 o'clock, meet at the wrestling room by the teacher's lounge. On Sunday, June 9th at 10 a.m., meet outside North Lobby. On Monday, June 10th at 5 o'clock, meet at the wrestling room by the teacher's lounge. On Tuesday, June 11th at 5 o'clock, meet at the wrestling room by the teacher's lounge. On Wednesday, June 12th at 5 o'clock, meet at the wrestling room by the teacher's lounge. Project Grad is asking if anyone has an old Guess Who game they don't want anymore or perfection that they don't want anymore to please donate them to Project Grad. You can bring the games down to Miss Simpson in room 606 unless the Bruins lost the night before. You may want to wait a day or even a week if that happens. Mrs. Barnes is hosting an informational meeting for new travelers interested in Italy 2020. This is an EF tour scheduled to travel from Rome through southern Italy to Sicily. This is an 11-day trip, start to finish, during April vacation next year. This trip is open to anyone interested in the art, culture, food, and the history of Italy. The meeting will be Tuesday, May 28th, in room 4 at 6 o'clock p.m. Please RSVP to Mrs. Barnes in room 9 or email at mbarnes at sau29.org. The language department is looking for families willing to host one French student around the age of 15 to 16 for, day, for 10 days in October 2019. The students will speak some French, a little, some English, and several students Spanish or German. They will be hosted from October 12th to 22nd in 2019. If you're interested, contact Madam Riley or Madam Wilson in 310 and 309 the library, or the library after Block 4 for more information. The World Language Department has decided they will be traveling to Spain in April 2020. Please see Prof. Caffey for more details in room 312. The signups for the trip to France, Germany, and Paris in 2020 is holding an informational meeting on Thursday, May 23rd at 6.30 p.m. In, in the media room or contact Madam Riley or Madam Wilson in room 310 or 309 for more information. There's a bunch of cool places that you will go that I don't know how to pronounce because I can barely speak English myself. The visual and performing arts teachers have nominated the following students as April Artists of the Month. Please take a moment to view their artwork in the main entrance showcase and congratulate these students if you see them. Kyla Flory, Eula Sabakista, Claire Strohshine, Paige Dowd, Fiona Fitzpatrick, Isabel Garcia, Matthew Peet, and Julia Priest. The final Drama Club gathering will be the Tony Awards held on Monday, June 3rd at 5 o'clock in the LGIA. All club members, past and present, are invited to attend. Seniors club members, please RSVP to Mrs. Hansel. The event includes a potluck, dinner, Tony Awards, club recognitions, senior farewells, and more. Two cosmetology students traveled to Concord High School to compete in the annual hair fashion show. Maybe they should have let Christian tag along. We all know he needs a new hit to do. The Cheshire Room blocks this week are closed block 1 and open block 3 on Wednesday and open blocks 1 and 3 on Thursday and Friday. The hours of operation subject to change without notice or warning. And now sports with Christian. Good morning, Blackbirds. I'm Christian, and this is what's going on in the world of sports. Last Friday on May 10th, our boys' varsity volleyball team took on Winnicott on the road and wore with a score of 3-0, with both senior outside hitters Charlie Tuesley and Jared Pollock delivering key plays in this win. Also, the girls' varsity lacrosse team played at Brattleboro at home last Saturday. Sadly, they lost with a score of 10-2, so... And now let's talk about some national news. First off, rip to all the Celtics fans who thought they were going to beat the Bucks, and another rip to their franchise since all of their star players are leaving after this season. Also, quite really called a game last night. Raptors are finally tired of losing. But congrats to the Bruins for taking the wins over the Hurricanes last night, making their series 2-0. At least one Boston team knows how to win in the playoffs. 
Well, that's all you have for me, Keen High. Have a good day. Christian out. That's all the news we have for you this week. I'm Katie Bauer. And I'm John Kelly. Have a great rest of your week, Keen High. Only six more weeks to vacation, but who's really counting? Thank you.